Hi, I'm Nathan Oakley and this is video log number 14 and I'm going to title this video log You Are Admiral Bird and the reason I'm going to title that is because I'm no historian and people like Mark Sargent have done a, a really good job of um, describing people like Admiral Bird and I say people like Admiral Bird because of all of the experiments that people are doing right now so the toughest thing I found to explain on Facebook was the stars, especially in the Southern Hemisphere. And there's uh, a guy, I think his name, surname's Wa, but he's done a fantastic model. I'll put it in the link, uh, a link to his model in the description below, along with Mark Sargent's video, um, I think it's Flat Earth Clues 2, that he explores Admiral Bird. But I'll put links to both of those down below. But uh, th there's a whole bunch of people on YouTube now, um, people like Tiger Dan, um, Bible Dan as, as, he, as he goes by, but from a, a Christian and even just a, just a non-Christian, flat earth perspective, Tiger Dan does an exceptionally good job um, of breaking stuff down. And it's amazing the way he can find <laughs> flat earth proofs in the Bible. So when he wants to experiment, he just looks for the truth. And it's an amazing thing to watch. Um, but I've mentioned Mark Sargent in loads of my video logs and I've mentioned um, uh, people like Flat Earth and other uh, Hot Potatoes, Patricia Steele, uh, Geronism, uh, Eric DeBay. Um, I've used his links loads of times when I've actually been sending people stuff on uh, Facebook, in, inadvertently sending Eric DeBay stuff, it's just you, you search and you find it and you go, oh, I'll do as an example. But the problem is he, he seems to ask a lot of questions or leave his stuff open to be uh, interpreted uh, or open to interpretation, um, which is good because when I use it on Facebook it opens up a whole debate, which is which is great because it, it means that you can you sort of question what you're not believing in, but what you're questioning yourself and putting forward to others. Um, but I've, I t have a tendency to put things across as fact when blatantly I have absolutely no idea most of the time. I've just got a pair of balls and I'm prepared to <laughs> stick my neck on the chopping block. And like with the flat earth baby thing, you know, I've got the destinations wrong, I've got everything wrong. I was just like, oh, this is a great story. I'll stick it straight out there, see what happens. And uh, again, as I've said in other video logs, the shills can be fantastic. They can, you know, if you're prepared to stick your neck out and take the abuse for being a complete idiot at times, they'll give you loads of information to research from. It makes you life a lot easier and a lot quicker. Uh, that's if you're prepared to have thick skin, which I am, so that's good for me. Uh, plus it means I get a lot more material out there. Um, but there we go. My point of this particular video log is that you can be Admiral Byrd. Admiral Byrd has made discoveries that essentially have changed um, the way governments have, 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 have formulated their their plans for, for huge distances into the future and this is one man and in the same way that um, I think it's Joshua, God I, I've got his name right, um, he's modelled something that's really difficult to explain and although the model, I hate, you probably hate me for saying this, is a crude model, it's not, it's fantastic, it's it's amazing, it's, it's glorious and this is something that he's just one man, he's just one guy and he's gone out there with his uh, you know, tenacity and wants to make something into a reality that we see as a reality. What we see in his model, we see with our own eyes and that's just a beautiful thing to behold. Uh, it's it's no different to, you know, laser tests or any of the other experiments that any one of us can do with the fantastic technology we have at our fingertips, time-lapse cameras, lasers, all of these things. Um, you know, in, in the modern times, we can prove this stuff for ourselves, And that, for me, was the most exciting thing about Flat Earth. You can get stuck right in. Um, following on from a, another Facebook conversation with a, a, another feed on someone else's page, um, it, it, it was uh, the case that the guy pretty much asked for it, said, look, I want to take the red pill, tell me, and then presented his, you know, counter arguments for the heliocentric model after I'd been extremely rude to him and sort of said, you know, how the F would you know after he said, well, it seems about right to me. Um, but the, the point is that we can do this stuff. We can, I'm sure I said this in the very first video log, we can actually do this stuff for ourselves. And, you know, don't think that because you see uh, something benign 
uh, as not being worth experimenting on. Everything is. It's it's all open. It's all open, it's all up for grabs. So yeah, you know, grab your telescope, grab your grab your phone. Forget a telescope. Most people have got a mobile phone in their back pocket with just phenomenal processing power and cameras and all the stuff you need to test or in my case make YouTube videos. So I've been Nathan Oakley and I will see you in the next video.